I'm Chef Melissa, and today we have a very special episode because it's all healthy foods. Well, let's get started. We're gonna use today. We're gonna make chicken parmesan. It's gonna be in the oven and on the stove, so it's gonna be doubly cooked. So then we're gonna make fried chicken with breadcrumbs and eggs. And look what I got, EVOO, that's extra virgin olive oil. I love that stuff. Okay, and then we're going to make mashed cauliflower. I know it doesn't sound very, uh, so we're going to, but it tastes just like mashed potatoes. And it's way healthier for you. So you want to have two saucepans and a steamer. A steamer is just a pot of water and this um, pan with holes in the bottom. Now, I'm going to just make sure you wash and break up your cauliflower into small pieces. I'm just going to stick that in there. Oops. <laughs> okay. Now that that's all set, we'll get on to... Okay. You want to make sure that the cap's on. And you tell how it's done when you can stick a fork to it very easily. Now, we're going to make, uh, you want to have it on a low heat so that um, it cooks the same time as the chicken. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to take two and a half pounds of chicken strips. That's these thingies. They look good. Not. Okay, we're going to take four eggs. We're going to make chicken parmesan too, so you need sauce and cheese. So, got a little dirty there. That was a bad one. Oh, stop it. My hands are all slippery now. Three and four. Finally, that one came out, right? Okay. So... We're going to take our whisk and just going to beat it all together. We want to really break those egg yolks up. Make sure you don't get it out of the bowl. Uh, this is a disaster. Ah! Now that should be good. That was st so stupid. Okay. Now I'm going to take my chicken. You want to take your chicken and you want to soak it in the egg yolk. Egg mixture. And then you want to bring it over to the um, breadcrumbs and just coated in breadcrumbs. I mean coat this thing. And then it should look like this. So you want to just keep doing that until you have all of them coated in breadcrumbs. I just love the smell of breadcrumbs. It's just so bready crummy. Now, this just looks perfect. You want to really get in there with the breadcrumbs and the egg. And it's going to stick to your fingers, so 
just let it stick to your fingers. Okay. Now that's beautiful. Okay. Now I'm just going to move this chicken over here because it might be a little easier. And then this go over here. This go over here. Rearrange. Okay, I need some more breadcrumbs. Okay. This is going to take a lot of breadcrumbs for some reason. If you need more eggs, don't worry, you can always get some more. Wow, that's a long strip of egg. Now, when the cauliflower is done, you just want to um, take it out and you kind of want to drain it, but you don't have to. And you want to stick a fork way down deep. The top is the part that you want to get the most with a fork because that's the part that gets the least amount of steam. Now these burn very, very, very easily. For some reason, they cook really quickly, but you know how when it cooks quickly and then it burns really easily and it's not done and you can't take it off the grill because it's not done or the stove? That's kind of what these are like. I'm just going to bread the rest of these, and then we're going to fry them in our special pan and with EVLO. We just finished breading our chicken, and now we're just going to fry it up, and we're going to check on how our cauliflower is doing. There should be a lot of condensation on it, and if you can't stick a fork through the stem, it's not done. I think I'm just going to raise heat up just a little. Now let's get started on frying our chicken! Okay, you want to coat the bottom of the pan with anything that you've got, but either vegetable oil or extra virgin olive oil. So I'm just going to turn the front on. want them about the same heat so that they cook at the same temperature. Now you're just going to bring each in. And you got to be very careful because it might burn. I'm just going to use my hands. You don't want it to burn because you don't it doesn't really taste that good. Okay, that should be enough for that Chicken cut tutorial. 